Good morning, Grace Covenant, and welcome to the Friday devotional on this second Friday in the season of Easter. Uh, glad uh, for you to join me here today. Um, today, this week has been a time um, that has been challenging for me. I don't know if it has been for you, but um, there's a lot going on in the world. There's a lot going on with people I care about, both in my personal life and my family and in my church family, and um, I don't have a whole lot of words to say today other than to say that it's a tough week, and it was good for me to be able to come to a familiar space and center in on a familiar activity um, that would focus me today, and hopefully the music here will provide you uh, some comfort, some assurance, uh, some blessing um, as you find yourself wherever you are um, today and your needs. So I just wanted to share a little music. Uh, that first hymn is a hymn of comfort from my childhood. And uh, I was also reminded that this Sunday we will be singing the old gospel hymn, Blessed Assurance Jesus is Mine by Fanny Crosby the blind hymn writer who wrote about visions of rapture, looking above uh, in that song, uh, Blessed Assurance Jesus is Mine, Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. And I wonder what kind of faith it takes for someone to be able to see those visions when they really can't see. Um, I wonder what it's like for us to have that kind of faith in this moment when we don't know what's next, uh, when we can't see the future, um, we don't know what it holds. But like Fanny Crosby, uh, even in the midst of a life of trial and struggle uh, and uncertainty, we are still, I believe, called to offer praise and to be centered and to remember that uh, we have a savior and an assurance that we have a God who loves us and cares for us and walks with us in all that we do. And so I wanna leave you with that assurance today um, and pray that um, this will be meaningful as you center yourself and think of your own blessings uh, even in the midst of these trials.
Grace Covenant, remember to stay home, stay safe, stay connected, and know that you are loved. Thanks be to God.